Hey there everybody and welcome to episode 22 of the Artifact Act. I'm Icon and today we'll make big progress, promise. So I made, my, made up some plans and the next winter we'll see finally the creation of our tier 1 Golden Core Artifact Crafter. I know it takes a lot of time but in this game it works out quite often like that that things do take a lot of time until they're done. But that's okay for me. Meanwhile, Junju is working hard on her breakthrough to the Primordial Spirit stage, and I'm very happy to, or I'm very confident that we might find that today. Secrets, treasure secret. So what do we have here? That's because I read that book. Old was more for her to bear. Okay, that's an absolutely new uh, arc that I have had no clue about, and she couldn't go deeper because she froze. I'll rem I, I'll remember that. I mean, well, there are items that can prevent that. So, Zhang, you are right now wasting your time, my good sir. We're going to send Zhang Zhang over to the Ice Crystal Town. Oh, wait, what have I done? Just clicked something wrong there. There we go. So he's going to head over to that place until I have uh, collected enough Ice Crystal ore for whatever I need. Then we're going to continue that for yet another cultivation chamber because I want to get everything done in time and we are already pretty pretty behind in in many ways but that's okay the same no speed record or something like that I mean sure we are playing in mortal mode so therefore we should not completely underestimate the importance of time and such but on the other hand, I think we are making just fine progress. In some degree, you might even say the only important thing right now is my body cultivator. Anybody else does not really matter too much. Simply because the body cultivator will be the person to fight the flood dragon. And once the flood dragon is down, well, I've been never that far, so... Once the plot dragon's down, I'll see what kind of nasty things happen next. Bang, I clicked the wrong button. Damn. I'll I'll manage to send this dude to a, to an adventure. It'll only take a couple of hours more. There we go. Okay. There we go. My food stockpiles are slowly growing. That's also because our fields have harvest right now. I've seen that we've gathered a lot of shrooms lately. And since my people are just friggin' lazy lately, we're going to put up some jobs here. So my body cultivator's breakthrough was successful. And now he has access to some new secret bodies. And that that's the main reason why I didn't want to Let's see. Oh yeah, I can build fertile soil on top of the uh, top of the bad soil there. Wonderful. I was hoping for that. Okay, so now we have a lot of use for our for our poop there. Okay. Most importantly, now we have access to a lot of different uh, things. So let's see. The Void Thundercatch thingies were something I really wanted to try out, but I got no clue how hard it will be to bring that up. Five Elements Fist. So... Okay, we're looking for Wicked Flux here, in case you're wondering. Now, I'm going to bring up, well, how I'm going to do it. So, we have one mixed element arm skill, and let's try that. I mean, let's just try that. Hand bones. We need the hollow bone technique. Okay. Someone is hurt. My frogs are hurt. 
Could I care less? Since when does my sect have frogs anyways? Yeah, I am absolutely ditching and dumping the the needs of the other dudes, so okay. Baleful Bone, we actually seem to need for... For what? Where's the... Why did the game tell me that I need that? I'm confused now. Usually if it has a star, your dudes need it. Why are you guys messing with me? He didn't need that for his technique. Alright, Sharpened Bone is for damage. Okay, so Hollow Bone will appear more often with Wraith, with, with Wraith Essence, so... I have a lot of Wraith Essence, so why not try it? I, I probably think it would be smarter to upgrade the other uh, organs first. Like I've heard wonderful things about upgrading the spine for more selection choices and such, but... Eh, well. I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay. Let's see if we're more successful with that. Steel bone times five. Gray bone. Secret body endurance. Defense success. Well, okay, that was... Uh... That wasn't too delightful. I never tried to learn the Void Thunder Catch technique yet. Okay, we're being attacked by some... By some low-tier schmugs. I love it. That's three Angus Soul Gems for us. What could be possibly better? So... Make sure everybody of them is attacking the doggo. Let's get in the body cultivator. 1,000 points of attack power. Ready to, to punch them to death. There we go. And that's not even using my actual techniques. I can still use that uh, skill directly. Quite devastating. I love it. And three Angish Soul Gems for free, basically even better. Hey, we got a turtle now. We don't need awesome. Alright. So, Nyanyun doesn't seem to be quite successful with the Wicked Flux collection, but I do know that fire cultivators were not the worst choice for that. Alright. So... Five times sharpened bone. Well, I'm quite tempted, but no. So sharpened bone. How many per slot do we have? Only two. So I could take the sharpened bone the next time. I just wanted to check this out before I pick something. Need. Okay. So, Sean Ming, is there anybody with a better chi sense here? Well, Fu Hylian is actually not absolutely horrible. Shodong? Oh yeah, we're, we're going to pick up Shodong. This is going to be the next person we're going to cultivate. Or Yi Zhurong. Wait a second. Oh my god. So, maybe I'm not going to do any crap cultivators at all. So we're going to cultivate Shodong, because I love this uh, luck rating of that dude. I mean, seriously, luck 6, decent intelligence too. We're going to, we're going to bring up new cultivators today. Because I'm quite unhappy with how things work out decently uh, recently. So in general, I feel like my sect is developing slower than I need than it could, but that's also partially because I really got trouble micromanaging two large sects, you know. Here we 
go. Eat up Shodong, my friend. Here we go. So that's a direct promotion. Hey, look at that. Almost perfect already. Yeah, we're going to we're going to introduce this dude into the into the myriad artifact. He's practically made for it. Wonderful. If you have already 96% or anything on your on your cultivator has been optimized. It's a good good spot. Good good spot. Okay, so wood does overcome earth. Well, I should not pick up an earth once. An earth artifact then. We really need a decent artifact crafter soon. Okay, there's so many items lying around there here. Oh yeah, that's so good. So super happy about that. And Zhong is now bringing up the items we need for a good wood cultivation chamber. Let's see, how much ore do we already have? Oh, we getting there. Not quite yet there, but we getting there. Alright, let's pick up the sharpened bone. Okay, seems like the hollow bone upgrade is kind of rare, though. Okay, now I'm waiting for Junju to finally get to the point where she can break through to the Primordial Spirit. Because a first Primordial Spirit would be such a massive upgrade for the entire sect. Oh well. And we need more of these hollow bone tick uh, skills like in every single friggin' finger, so. We'll need a lot of Wraith Breath for that. But on the other hand, since this skill is entirely made up out of bone upgrades, the fighting power of that should be massive. So. Ah! Why did I pick up steel but what? No, what have I done? Oh my god. What the? When did I click that and why? Okay, you guys didn't see that. We have the necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow must have, oh man, the derp on me. Oh, Shodong is mentally unstable. Let's help him out. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so... Oof. Well, you guys certainly noticed that before I did. That's totally useless. I don't think that the endurance does uh, do anything for the character, so... Sharpen bone was what I wanted. Good lord, I had no clue that this would be so effing rare, though. Alright, Jean got the necessary ore now for the next upgrade there. So, we're going to make it like that. This, uh, this skill looks like something that I'd upgrade later. Now... For, for starters, I'll stick with that one skill I already have somewhat developed. So he does have a decent attack skill. Because right now I'm trying to uh, to learn something which just doesn't seem to be the right time right now. It, it seems to me that the, better, the way better time would be after I've upgraded certain body parts here to unlock me more extra rolls. Because right now, the biggest problem seems to be that the chance of rolling that hollow bone is uh, quite horrible. Judging from what I'm seeing, at least. Hey, Jinju, how are you? Tell me. Oh, man. Still not there yet. Okay. Another roll for uh, the ancestral throwback. My god, how lucky.
Well, okay then. But at least she's making really constant progress. But you know what, Junju? You are capable of achieving more. Here, Sprout Pill. Jeez, what's going on? How long does it last? 30 per... Uh, 24 hours. Okay, there we go. That's another decent option, too, to get the job done, you know. Can't I... Here, Sprout Pill. I can't enable them. Wonderful. So what can I enable on top of that? Okay. Oh yeah, there's more corrosive blood. Let's pick that up. Corrosive blood is just too nice to not pick it up. I'm still a bloody noob when it comes down to body cultivation, otherwise I wouldn't have accidentally picked such a useless bone upgrade there. But I'm I'm slowly getting there and I'm learning I'm learning and enjoying that a lot. Alright, let's check out how Junju Enhanced flesh, but no, two. That. Here we go. So those extra thirty percent are barely noticeable somehow, but that's okay. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Let's just upgrade that one skill thoroughly, and then we're going to head over to defensive skills there. Okay, here we go. We are finally on the second layer. Huzzah. So, or Wait a sec, I immediately broke through. There, okay. June came back, and somebody's asking for help. Oh! Ah, uh, the stats weren't that horrible. I would actually ask her to stay. But with those stats, not particularly interested. So, Shodong is actually making horrible progress. I mean, nobody should be too surprised about that. Oh, by the way, dude, you don't need those anymore. Those times are over now. So, did I teach Junju the drawing of talismans? Keep forgetting that, but yeah, she already has these. Divine Comprehension. Is that the one? No. Divinity Mind. Does that mean? Yeah. Let's do that. This will bring up her uh, cultivation speed to completely new levels, if I'm not mistaken. Jeez. Am I that wrong? I mean, as far as I remember, that was a wood uh, wood elemental spot. Okay, never mind. We now got another one for upgrading our mental state. And that spiritual traveling one, first off, it's totally outdated. And second, if I'm not mistaken, she will now be even more powerful. Powerfully cultivating, that is. Here we go. Because you get... I don't know if you receive actually more XP when you are that close to 100. But I know that your XP you gain lowers when you are too far away from 100. So, gain Aqua Luna Essence. What the hell? So, what's an Aqua Luna Essence? The most condensed energy in the freezing moon. Sure thing. Alrighty. Now, I want to assign one more go. I already did. Wonderful. And then 
is there another set of demon clothing available? If not, we definitely need that now. Or our new cultivator. Alright. Gonna wait for a sec until Shodong's new clothing is done. At least I hope that it will be done. Well, Sean Ming should at some point get the job done, but okay. Let's check out what's happening in the at the wonderful world of Miyushi. A confused stranger is coming by. Oh my god. What's wrong with you, dude? What is what has happened to you? Okay. Nah. Didn't really make Junju pasta, but that's okay. She's one of my candidates for a rebirth at some point too. But hard to rebirth somebody if you don't have access to soul pearls. Now, where was that workshop again? Ah, here. Okay, here it goes. I really want to give those demon hide pants to the proper recipient as, as quick as possible. So, here is the demon hide sec uniform. These clothing pieces are especially important. Oh no. Ah, uh, I want to click the wrong thing. No! Sorry. So, this, these are especially important because the cultivation room of Shodong will ultimately reach very, very low temperatures, so... It's a good thing that we have that. Oh yeah, we have a new supply of Ice Essence bars. Very good. That's working out. Alright. There we go. Definitely gonna bring that onto the fifth layer, but after that I don't know where I'm headed with uh, the body cultivation next. I feel like I want to have one really powerful attack skill and then head over to something on the defense. Because as soon as my body culture cultivator has the necessary defense, I can select a new pet, which is quite fun. Because right now I need that pet for, for tanking purposes, you know. There won't be any chance of for surviving things without extra tankiness there. Okay, it's neat. I think that breathing uh, schedule here ain't that horrible at all. Right, sadly only Tempered Bone was in it. Okay. Nice Crystal Ore. And the Sharpened Bone we needed. Alright, and last but not least, we need to develop those four arm muscles more. Okay. Summer is passing by, that's okay. Vitalized flesh, nah. Okay. Here it goes, we need that enhanced flesh. And now just uh, pick up the other things that we need accordingly. So somehow I have the feeling as if I should send somebody else. Something ain't working out here as intended. Hey, the treasure elf. My god, I'm lucky today. All right. My dude, nobody needs to do that. And I'll keep an eye out on this little critter. Here we go. Bam. Wow. Three chests. That's pretty neat. 
All right, so Shodong is right now my luckiest cultivator. I, I'm pretty sure that luck doesn't really matter here. I, I somehow have a vague memory that it didn't matter, but I can't remember, of course. I can't remember, honestly, anymore. Okay. The real good news is that we now have, with that body cultivator, a lot of firepower available to just fight off whatever you want to. Okay, a nice assortment of different pills. The region pill, as far as I remember, is a 256 plus thingy. Prism Lotus. Yeah. Good stuff. That Prism Lotus is extremely... It's an extremely fortunate drop. Let's see, he's uh, going for the last one. Sage Fruit. Okay. Do I actually have now three Sage Fruits? Wow. That's pretty good. Well, water cultivation room will have a, will have quite some potency with that. Got some sprout pills, region pill plus two hundred and fifty six years of life, and most importantly, a prism lotus, which is one of the best things you can possibly wish for for your water cultivation room. Wait a sec, that uh, somehow didn't work out, huh? Ah, he did the job. Okay, it did work out. Nice. Come on, Junju, I promised the people here a breakthrough today at the end of this episode. Sorry, guys, she doesn't. She just doesn't deliver. Okay. Now, Shodong is getting a lot, getting ahead a lot faster. This room has to charge up though first before it is going to be really brilliant, but one thing at a time. Another thing, we're capable of creating another set of ice crystal bars. I'm actually going to let Shou, uh, Zhang Zhang go for a couple of extra to, uh, tours here, because I feel like it is a good thing to have a nice stockpile of ice crystal ore in here. Somehow feel like we could need it sooner or later. Okay. Shodong reached a limit. Breakthrough time. Okay. Yeah, sadly his artifact crafting skills are really me. I somehow expected that. Sadly, this will bring his attainment also high like crazy, but can't change it, I guess. So, working on that muscle, did we? I don't want to keep remolding at this stage, though, because there's such a high chance of us just upgrading way beyond everything we need so unhinged blood this sounds like something that should be really really good for me let's pick that up yeah so i'm calling that one off yanyun somehow doesn't seem to be the right person for that job so Probably this place is Earth Elemental, but if so, a fire cultivator would be not the worst person to send there. It's really a it's really always a mystery to me, and I somehow have the memory that fire cultivators were actually a good choice there. I don't know. Oh! There's a random blazing feather frog falling from the sky. This actually makes sense when a phoenix is flying by, you know. Okay, let's watch that furnace go. I really love how this place is uh, developing so far. We're really, really on a spot that makes me super happy. Especially the fact that Shodong is such a really good candidate for the wood law, or the artifact law, I should rather say. 
finally have somebody who's a good candidate for that. Can't tell you how happy I am about it. Now, we're going to need a couple of, of fire essence bars for the work there. Because, you know, that chamber here ain't done yet either. Okay. So, why is my dude on breakdown? Ah, uh, okay. He's bored. I really don't get why this dude is actually bored. His room is wonderful. There's not too much reason to be bored here, but... Little do I know. Alright, let's check out Nyanyun. Her breakthrough... Well... Shouldn't I have a percentile stat there? No? Okay. Then not. So, we're going to send her around the world to collect what? Let's see. I could send her to explore some place. Uncover new areas. That would be one thing. But I could also send her to gather stuff we actually might need. Right now I have a hard time though deciding what that could be. Oh yeah, I know something. Alchemist's Peak. Alchemist's Peak is actually way more important than what one might think. Because the spirit leaf you can gather there is one of the most wonderful materials for alchemy in general. But if you don't plan, if you don't grow it yourself, it's quite a hassle to to acquire enough of that stuff for for your alchemy needs. And since my agriculture is rather laughable, you know. All right. Ah, oh, finally things are getting together more quickly. Okay, this breakthrough in particular costs some lifespan. Not too happy about that, but lifespan costs in this game aren't as horrible as they as they sound. Okay, so good job, dude. You you broke through hard. <laughs> Ultra breakthrough. Okay, so we need some some spirit powder. Let's see, is that among the medicine items, or is it among the pills? I always have a hard time here, spirit powder. Feed to Shodong. But at least he broke through hard enough to be truly broken through, and that means he's now really, really further in his development. Isn't that nice? Meanwhile, at the Body Cultivator's Shack, we're getting closer to the 25 points of Tempered Flesh here. Alrighty, my good friends, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. I love this run a lot, and we're really getting somewhere, especially since Shodong is now getting ready for his big, big, uh, big, big breakthrough. I mean, this dude should achieve a pretty good uh, score in general. The only thing we need to take care about is now that he has the proper medicines and well we don't have any advanced laws so I see a decent chance that we might be we might be re re rebirth him once or twice. I don't know yet. We'll see about that. Drop your comments down below, leave a thumbs up on that video to show your appreciation, and of course, check out the channel, subscribe if you haven't done so, daily content popping up there, you won't regret subscribing and turning on the notification bell to stay updated. See you guys next time, bye bye!